Hi, Super Spruce here, back with another Distance Incremental video, episode 33. And you can see, well, I haven't done anything since last episode, despite it being, like, weeks because I was away from my computer. So, yeah, I have two multiversal energy. Um, I guess I can get more quilts. Um, but I can keep my best hadronic score and reset, so it's probably going to... At least speed things up a little bit. I mean, oops. I, I keep thinking... I'm, I'm not even sure. I th don't I just have to just grind the Skyrions? Isn't that, like, all I do? And, like, because this already has, like, an auto. Um, it's just a... There's just a max button. This doesn't... Unfortunately, it doesn't have an auto yet. I keep thinking they're gonna have an auto, but whatever. It's It's fine. It's still, you know, it's probably going to only take a few minutes per reset. I mean, I keep my 6.9 Hadronic score. That, that That's pretty nice. Um, yeah, I get these. Now I have to just wait until 100 Skymarions, which shouldn't take too, too long. But it should be, you know, relatively easy. I'm getting like 9 each time. And, I mean, I'm maxing these upgrades as much as I can. Yeah, it really shouldn't take that long. Maybe I can... Well, I am getting all the way up to E75 elementary particles. I don't think that's a problem at this point. And I am, you know, 35 Theoryverse depth. Even though that barely does anything. Yeah, I mean, you can see I... I yeah, I'm getting all the fermions and bosons I, I need. And... All these upgrades are being autoed, so I guess I just wait for 100 <laughs> Skyrim rounds here, and boom, here it is. This now I get the Zeta upgrades, which of course those are the most overpowered things ever. So this allows me to, you know, square or even cube my pions and everything, and of course that allows me to triple my Skyrim rounds because yeah, it's just that OP. I guess I just keep it. I just keep getting more. I just need 750 to unlock even more upgrades. Now I'm up to a thousand. This allows me to probably gain even more Skyrions on reset. Yep, that's exactly what it does. And I just need to. I barely need to wait at all to you know get. All I need is 2,500 Skyrions. This will hopefully allow me to you know get the new upgrades. Except they're just too expensive. Whatever, all I need is 4,000 Skyrions to get the next set of upgrades. And there's maybe a, a set of Zeta upgrades that... Yep. <laughs> exactly. The, 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 the Zeta upgrades just completely break everything. Or not break, but you know. You know what I mean here. And now I've unlocked the final upgrades, which means I think I just wait until I can finally get enough to get back to the multiverse. So, let's see what the milestones are, because this is relatively repetitive. I mean, it's not, it's it's pretty fast, but it's also repetitive. Uh, milestone quilt to the second effect also affects Pion and Spinar gain. Oh, wow, okay, that is going to be OP. And this, I'm not exactly sure how OP that's gonna be, but looks decent, and then these two are gonna be lifesavers. And then this one's gonna be another. Oh my god! Once I get ten multiversal energy, it's it's gonna be crazy. We're, we're just gonna yeah. We're gonna go back into the multiverse, gain more sky rounds. We need to just get more of these upgrades. And boom, one multiversal energy. This is going to make the next run so much more, f so much faster. Because now I'm gonna be, you know, I'm gonna be getting like a hundred times. The pions and spinors. I mean, okay, maybe it's not that much faster. Maybe I'm. I think it's gonna be better than it is, but you know, it does feel like. I mean, I, I think it is gonna be significantly faster. Like, once I. Yeah, I'm already in the hundreds here, and this means I can get, like, more of these upgrades than before. Already up to seven. This allows me to get even more of these. And then once I get up to 20, it's probably gonna inflate a little bit 
just a little bit because you know well, actually, I, I can get these upgrades which probably allows me to get like yep, eight and now I get the next set of upgrades which we can not afford actually now I can afford them and they don't even take them they don't even take away the pions and spinors they're just that OP so this means I'm now getting 12 sky rounds on reset so okay it's not making things ridiculously fast as I might have thought but you know what it's upgrading this like 9 or 10 to 12 or 13 sky rounds like that that's a significant improvement I will I will definitely take that because that's probably one or two less Skyrion resets until, you know, I can get 100 and unlock the Zeta upgrades, which, of course, I can immediately afford. I just wish there was a hotkey. I think maybe there is a hotkey, but I'm not sure what it is. Yeah, so now I'm all the way up to the Septillions because it's just that broken. <laughs> and let's see how much it's even doing. The quilts... Yes, it's doing. I mean, yeah, it's it's, it's a multiplying the plan and spider game by. I feel like I should be doing more, but I don't know. We're just gonna we're just gonna go back into the multiverse. I mean, okay, we're already in the twenty octillion range, which maybe that's more than normal. Also, I'm two away from the next set of upgrades, which I think the big benefit here is that I can just immediately afford the new upgrades. Which just which just allows me to gain more Skyrions on reset every time, and yeah, Zeta upgrades. This allows me to easily get to two thousand five hundred, and yeah, it's just, it's just I'm not even sure what to say at this point because I mean it's getting faster every time, which is good. That that's what it should be doing. It takes one less reset to reach 4,000, and it's probably going to take less time from 4,000 all the way to, um, yep, here's the multiverse here. I'm saying here too much. But now we unlock, gain 100% of elementary is going to reset every second. I'm not sure how significant this is going to be. However, we can also upgrade a quilt, so I guess that's nice. But let's see if it's going to be any faster, because... I, I, I do want to see if this is faster. Once we get the next two milestones, though, that's going to be that's gonna be the game-changing thing. Okay, we can already get two right off the bat. That's a good sign, because that means it's we're already getting double of what I got two resets ago. So we can reach, we can reach 10 easily. Well, I need to just reach 20. Um, unfortunately, it's... Still only getting six on reset, so it seems to only really boost the very beginnings. I'm already getting nine here, so maybe I don't know. I I I, th I think it's doing some. Let, let's see how much I can gain here. Thirteen. So it's not really actually doing all that much besides the beginnings. I mean, of course, maybe the quilt gain is also to blame here. We can get a whole new set of upgrades here and a million pounds of spinars, which allow us to gain 15 sky rounds, maybe even more. Maybe, can we get 17? Yes, we... Oh, <laughs> I needed 18, whatever. I just, I'm just going to do this because the Zeta upgrades are so OP that I don't really care about gaining the optimal amount of sky rounds here. Um, because, you know... All the pions and spinars that come from the Zeta upgrades are going to be more OP. And maybe now we can get up to 750 without having to do an extra reset. Perhaps. I'm hoping. Not sure. Yes, we can actually. So that what that was the little boost we needed to save one reset there. And it's probably only going to take two more resets to get up to... Okay, it's going to take three more to get to 2,500. But that's probably fine. Like, it doesn't really take that much time. And also, here's a Zeta upgrade already, which means that we can gain even more. I think it's still, unfortunately, going to be a little... Yeah, we still, we still need one more reset to reach 4,000, but 
I don't think that's a major problem here because we can just do this and this will probably almost instantly get me up to multiverse so I can get auto pion upgrades. So here we go. I'm, I'm going to immediately look at the pion here, the pion, pion field. Where, okay, here, where's the auto? Oh yeah, I need to go into automation. It's always weird, but here we go. This is going to oops, make things significantly faster because now all I need to do here manually is is the spinors. That's it. But other than that, though, th th this run's going to be basically the same as last run. It's just less clicking I need to do. I mean, okay, maybe it's not. That was eight already. Probably because I'm getting all the auto pion upgrades. But, yeah, honestly, these next two runs are going to be pretty boring. They're not really going to actually boost much about the run. It's just going to make it easier to do. So, yeah, see in a bit. Okay, here we go. This is our 10th multiverse. This means we are going to gain 100% of Skyrim's gain on reset every second. I also did get this quilt. Um, I know there is the this. <laughs> I'm not sure what that's going to do, but yeah. Let's let's look at our milestones here because this is because now I'm only going to be getting well, I'm going to need more multiversal energy. Which means I'm maybe doing multiple runs or trying to get multiple multiversal energy on a single run. So, unspent multiversal energy reduces base Skyrim requirements. And then, okay, so I'll probably go, be going for that. Um, this is going to make unspent multiversal energy actually do something. So, let, let, let's see. Um, we're we're going to go back into the multiverse here. Let's see just how oops, <laughs> ridiculous this is going to be. I keep forgetting I need to go to elementary and then... Skyrim runs, except I don't even need to do that because now I'm just gaining them automatically and the entire run is just going to be automatic. Yep, it's that overpowered. It's probably going to take 30 seconds to do the entire run because it's just that overpowered. Like, we're already up to thousands of Skyrim runs. I mean, we're probably going to be up to... I mean, if we wait, we can get... Look at this. I'm getting tens of thousands of Skyrim runs. If we wait, we can... We can reach millions or even billions of Skyrions. Like, I, I just need more multiverses. And I've heard two multiverses isn't actually going to do anything. Or it's not going to get me to two multiversal energy. I mean, as much as I want these numbers to get bigger, there's not really much I can do other than just get these. So, enter the multiverse again. And... Just do the same do the same thing as last time, which is nothing. <laughs> I just have to wait to get enough Skyrounds. And I'm guessing the next upgrade is gonna significantly speed up the runs even more than what it already is. Like if this wasn't OP enough. So yeah, we're up to hundreds, now we're <laughs> thousands here. All I need to do is wait to get like four thousand and then to get one multiversal energy this gives me this milestone and it just it just gets better and better when you have more unspent multiversal energy you have three unspent multiversal energy there also is the mysterious one here multiverse one i'm not sure what that is we're just gonna keep doing multiverse prime at this point because yeah look, look oh my god <laughs> now it, it just takes seconds to get all the way up to multiverse and we can even get two multiverses actually and we can get two multiversal energy there we go i didn't even realize that so boom now we're getting two and two in one run and I'm just i'm just gonna keep entering it like this there's really no reason to be doing anything else and i'm one away from another milestone like we can see with that as well the multiverse is doing its thing um, total multiversal energy Reduces the Omega Particle requirement increase. And then there's also... And then the next one after that is total... The Theory Tree upgrades boost string effects. Um, that boost string effects have their limit increased by 5. And their Graviton effect is raised to the power of 15. I don't even know what that is, but whatever. We can gain two more Multiversal Energy. Which means we get the Omega Particle requirements. 
So yeah, let's let's just keep entering this multiverse. Let's just see how overpowered everything's gonna be. Of course, I need to get to Sky Rounds, but then when I when I when I get there, I can gain millions in a second. And let's see how many multiverse. I'm up to 2.8. I mean, that's that's crazy. What if I reach three? Does that mean? Uh, nope, that's not three multiversal energy, unfortunately. <laughs> but, yeah, you can just see how overpowered everything is at this point. Like, like at this point, there's just the actual multiverse features that I need to do. And maybe this is a good time to try multiverse one. But that's going to wait till next episode. Hope you enjoyed. Peace out. Thank mm -hmm. you.